Alright, I'm mainly recording this for myself, but if anyone else uses this video uh, to their benefit and uh, uses it to learn this piece of shit, then fine by me. I'm going to try to be as detailed as possible, but concise. Um, I'm not going to go over every little thing, because I assume if you're learning this solo, you're pretty experienced. Anyway, here we go. So I'm going to break it up into sections. Uh... First of all, I guess the first section is going to be like this. I'm not going to play the whole thing up to speed for you. You can just um, listen to the recording from the band. I'm going to play it slow for you, though. Well. Anyway, that's the first little section I'm going to go over. Uh, there's several different uh, arpeggio patterns or sweet picking patterns in this um, in this song, and uh, if you already know them, then it's gonna make it just 28 times more easy to uh, actually learn it. But if not, then uh, I'm still gonna show them to you. But you might want to practice some just the patterns themselves before actually delving into the solo. Uh, or not, whatever. Anyway, the first little sweet picking pattern is this one right here. So basically what I'm doing here is uh, from 13 on the first string, E string, uh, uh, well, you, I'm pulling off from the 17th fret on the first string to the thirteenth fret on the first string. Come on, get in focus. What are you doing? Alright. And then fifteenth fret on the second string. Fourteenth fret on the uh, third string. And then fifteenth on the fourth string. And then finally seventeenth on the A string, the fifth string. Anyway, so basically it starts off using that pattern, and you can actually move that anywhere around the neck you want. Well. Yeah, whatever. You can move it anywhere on the neck you want. So, it starts off like this. It's this little uh, rhythm pattern type thing. It's kind of like a staircase sort of thing. I like to think of it like that. You just alternate uh, between each note you've played before. So you pull off, you go to that note, and then you play. Right? And then at, once you get to that point, you just run straight through it. So. 17, 13, 15, 13, 15, 14, 15, 14, 15, 14, 15, 15, 17. And then we move on to this sweet picking pattern right here. And you can also move that one anywhere on the neck you want. I most commonly do it on the 12th fret, but it's the same position. So you're going to go from the 22nd fret and pull off to the 17th fret, right? And then you're going to go to the 18th fret on the 2nd string. So. And then that is the uh, 19th fret on the 3rd string. And then just same fret, 19th fret on the 4th string. And then 20th fret on the uh, fucking A string. And then finally 17. So, anyway, after this part. So, anyway, 
you're basically doing kind of the same thing we did over here. You're just pulling off. And it's that same sort of little pattern, you know? And then you're just going to go straight down the arpeggio after you do this. So it's going to be 17. Uh, you're going to pull off from 22 to 17. And then on the second string, 18. And then third string, that's the 19th fret. And then you go back up. Just straight, straight up the arpeggio. And then you go straight down the arpeggio. And then, when you reach this 17th fret, you just kind of flat finger it. And you hit the 17th fret of the E string, the, the first, the sixth string. It's really hard for me to kind of do that uh, pattern up here. Because it's, uh, I got big old giant hands and this is kind of a tiny guitar. And uh, it's just hard to play up here for me a little bit. But anyway, enough about that. So now we hit that part, right? This is the next part right here. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so next, it's the same pattern as up here that we learned. And you're basically just going down the arpeggio. Only difference is when you get down here to the first string on the 13th fret, you're going to pull off from the 17th fret to the 13th and then pull off from the uh, 19th to the 13th. And then finally 18th to the 13th. So it's kind of like this alternating thing. And then and then we get to this little weird kind of uh, pattern here. Um, it's pretty strange. It's kind of a tongue twister for your fingers, but once you learn it, it's really cool. So we're just going to take it from there. So after we pull off from this 18th, you're going to go to the 14th of the 2nd string, of course, and then 15th of the 3rd string, and then 13th, right, 13th of 2nd, 14th of the 3rd, 15th of the 3rd. It's going to sound like that. So... And then you're going to go back to the 14th of the 2nd string, like that. And then you're going to go on the 3rd string, 15, uh, 18. And you'll notice that it sounds the same as this, right? That's because it is the same. It's the exact same thing. And the reason we do it there, instead of just doing this twice, is because uh, not only does doing that and then this the second time give it just a slightly different uh, timbre, that's not really why we do it, but I think it's a cool effect. It's also because it sets you up for the next part. You don't want to be down here when you need to go over here, right? It's just a little bit easier to do it that way. So anyway, right? And then, let's see. Uh, yeah, right, right, right. So the next part after this, after we go here, you're just going to do the same thing. Hit that same hammer on, but up a string on the fourth string. Uh, from 15 to 18. And then, on the fifth string, A string... You're going to go uh, from <laughs> 16 to 15. You know, you'd think this would be easy for me, but... 
And then finally, on the sixth string, you're gonna go from uh, 18 to 15. So yeah. And in total, what we have here is this right here. Right? And so the next part we have is kind of a bitch. It's another sweet picking pattern. It's uh it's one that I wasn't familiar with when I first learned this song. It's basically the uh, uh just a variation, a different way to play uh that um that first sweet picking pattern we did or the second one, whichever one. Um you're just going to hammer on from the uh, on the fourth string from the 15th to the 18th and then uh, the uh, 17 on the third string 18 on the second string 15 15 on the first string and then um, uh, 19 on the first string <laughs> I guess you could also do this. You can do whatever you want. And also you can move that one as well anywhere on the neck you want to. Right? Same thing. So anyway, after we do the whole... Uh... We do this, right? So we go down that arpeggio, or up that arpeggio. Only when we get to the first string, we pull off from the 19, and then we do the 20 and pull off as well uh, to the 15th fret, of course. And then after we do that second pull off, we just go back down the arpeggio. Right, and then uh, this next part is really the one that's just the super bitch. It it's it sucks and I hate it, but it, it's uh, it's really cool and it sounds freaking legit. Uh, but it's just hard to do. You got to be pretty quick, um, and that's why I said kind of be familiar with these arpeggio patterns beforehand. You might want to practice them. Uh, Next, it's just the same arpeggio pattern, right? Only this time you're doing it in like 16th notes instead of 8th notes. So it's it's faster. And you're doing this. You're... That's basically it slowed down. Now the astute observer may have noticed... Well, I don't think I played that for you. So what, what I do, instead of uh, using my pointer finger... And hammering on at the start of the arpeggio, what I like to do during this part is actually use my uh, middle finger, my second finger. And I just do a slide because uh, to me that's um, easier and it lets me play it a bit cleaner uh, than I would, would be able to with the other one. Um, because I guess my uh, pointer and middle finger are just a little bit more nimble than my uh, ring and middle so I do a slide like that. Now you don't have to do that. That's just what I chose to do. Um, I uh, yeah. So I do the slide, and it's just going up the arpeggio as normal, right? And you hammer on just like that, just like normal. Only this time you bring your uh, other hand over here. And you do a tap. You tap on the 20th fret. So you hammer on 15 and 19 and tap on the 20th. And then you pull all of that off. Right? So basically, what I do during this part... Wow, that was really sloppy. <laughs> Anyway, you get the fucking idea. Uh, 
I uh, and and another thing you might want to consider. Hey, right, get back in focus. Come on. When I go back uh, down the arpeggio after doing the whole tapping thing, I don't usually have enough time to uh, pick the next note, right? So I kind of just hammer on it a little bit. I don't even pick those two, really, most of the time. And then I, I'm finally back up here to pick that one and slide back to the... Uh... Well... Whatever. It's sloppy. But, uh... I'm not here to... I'm, I'm not here to practice it. I'm trying to show you how to play it. Anyway. <laughs> um, perfectionist. Um... Yeah, the next part is this right here, so... We're just going to go over that. We're getting into that really fast run uh, just at the end of this, the whole solo, uh, when it um, prepares to, like, loop over again, right? So we're just going to go over this little part. It's not it's not a sixteenth note run. It's not quite as fast. You just... Uh, Hit that um, 18th fret of the second string. And then the uh, 16th of the first string. 18th of the first string. 15th of the first string. Back to the 16th, so. And then after you hit the 15 to 16 on the first string, you go back to the second string, and um, you just kind of uh, play uh, 18 to 17 on the second string. So in total, we have that right there. And then next, we have this fucking blazing fast part that I suck at. I suck at it, but I know the notes, and uh, if you practice it, you'll probably be better than me. Anyway, you hammer on. This is after you hammer on on the third string from the 13th to the 15th. So, and the next 13 to 14 on the second string. And then finally on the first string, 12, 13, 15. And, and you hammer on and pull off all of that. You do that. So. Next we have uh, 14, 13, 11 on the second string. Uh, yeah, on the second string. And then, third string, we have 13, 12, 10. Right? That whole deal. And then, uh, where it's different is right here on the fourth string. We have 14, uh, 11, 10. And what I what I do is I pretty much do this as a huge just pull off type, and I slide. Now you don't have to do it that way. That's just how I do it, and it's probably not even the proper way to do it, but that's how I do it. It's the notes, whatever. It's so fast you really don't even notice, right? So in total, we have a uh, 14, 11, 10, and then slide down to the eight on the fourth string. That was sloppy. Whatever. Anyway, after you slide down, you're going to hammer on. Don't tell me what my battery is at. You're going to hammer on uh, from the 8 uh, 
10, 11 on the fourth string. Right. Yeah. And then, um, ah, uh, right there. You're going to go to the third string, ninth fret, tenth fret, twelve, all hammered on. Legato. Uh, so yeah. And then we're going to go to the second string. And we're going to hammer on 11, 13, 14. And then finally, first string. We're just going to hammer on 12, 13, 15 again. Like that. So in total, after all that, we have that sort of thing. It's really, it's, it's, probably faster than that it's really hard to do anyway whatever after that we're gonna move to the second string so uh, we're all we're right there we're right at the end so we're going to go, after this part, we're going to go to the second string. And um, we're going to go from 13, 14, to 17. And after, after we go to the second string, we're going to go from 13 uh, to 15. And then, um, fucking that one. 16. <laughs> I don't know how to count. <laughs> so. And then we're going to move on. Second string after that. It's just ascending kind of, kind of melodic line. Um, we're going to go 14, 17, uh, 18. All hammered on. So, so we have a, and then finally, right at the end here, on the first string, we have a 15, 16, 18, and once you get there, You're gonna you're gonna tap with your other finger on the twentieth fret. So you're gonna and you're gonna pull all that off. You're gonna hammer back on. This is all one fluid motion. And you're gonna go back from. You're gonna just, you're just gonna do that again. Hammer on 15, 16, 18. Now that is the end of the solo right there where you go, where you hold that note and you uh, are fucking vibrato the shit out of it. But instead of going to the end there, you can loop it and just do the solo again, right? So we, we got this. whatever <laughs> that was rough anyway that's the solo uh fucking do the shit like subscribe whatever uh i'm probably gonna be the one watching this video in about like a month when i forget this shit and i want to learn it again so there we go oh that's not sweat by the way that's uh my fucking rag because i'm hot as shit damn it
anyway. Hallelujah. Goodbye.